Hi, this is a quick video just to go through the fibre stitch, um, how to use it and some tips and tricks. Uh, we'll zoom in on the meniscus and uh, show you how to do that just now. Once removed from the packet, uh, the fibre stitch is ready to go. Um, you have the wheel, um, the depth gauge, uh, which we'll go through in a minute, um, and the trocar, which is curved, which also has a graduated uh, tip. Uh, you can see it already loaded and ready to go with the first stitch. First thing to identify and be aware of is the depth that you want to insert your needle. It's set at 18 millimeters initially out of the packet. A good tip is to measure the potential distance that you want to penetrate through the meniscus um, and then add on to and adjust it by pushing down and advancing to the desired length. In this instance, you can see that the device is set at 16 here. Once you're happy with the depth that you want to penetrate, place the needle through the meniscus, gentle wiggle to help advance the needle. And in this model, you can see it penetrate the posterior uh, capsule. Once the device is through the posterior capsule, we then want to rotate all the way back until you feel a click and then rotate all the way forward until you feel a second click and you can tell that it's deployed with the two bars here. Once it's deployed you can see this the stitch through the posterior aspect and deployed. Here's a slightly closer up view of the same thing with the stitch deployed posteriorly. Next, you bring the needle back through into the joint, leaving the fibre stitch posteriorly, and then proceed, repeating the last step, advancing your needle through the posterior capsule again to deploy the second suture. Once again, we repeat the process, rotating the wheel as far back as it will go until you get a stop and a physical click with a single bar, and then rotating forwards to deploy the second suture again with a physical click and a split bar uh, to indicate that you have completely deployed the suture. Moving back to the model and you can see the posterior capsule, the second fibre stitch implant deployed. You simply again remove the needle into the joint. Leaving the, the device posteriorly and then removing the device through the portal. Once the device and needle have been removed um, from the portal, um, you're left with your mattress suture that's going to close down initially uh, the meniscal pathology, a second loop and a single suture. Using an arthroscopic hook or your fingers if it's exited the portal, Pull on this initial loop to tighten the first mattress suture down and once that's tight then secondarily pulling on the single end to gather the remaining second mattress suture and tensioning the fixation. Using either the disposable or the reusable uh, cutter then feed the single tail through the cutter and then divide the leftover remnant, completing the meniscal repair. So moving on from the theory um, and applying it in real life, we've got a case study of a 32-year-old guy um, who had a complex injury playing football, valgus collision and a 
pivot. Um, his MRI scan, when we saw him, showed a complete ACL rupture, an MCL grade 3 rupture that's now chronic and hasn't healed, and a medial meniscal red on red tear, involving most of his meniscus, probably the posterior two-thirds or so. When we got in to actually uh, do an arthroscopy and examine his knee, gross opening of the medial joint compartment, Lachman's uh, positive with a gross uh, pivot shift. So once we were in the knee, as you can see, the meniscus is very unstable. We used a shaver just to freshen things up to allow um, some bleeding edge and for it to heal. Using the first fiber stitch, measured it to 18, penetrating just above the meniscus into the posterior capsule, feeling it move through the, the capsule, um, then advancing uh, the first suture uh, device, rotating that wheel backwards, then all the way forwards, removing it back into the joint, going underneath the meniscus, again, making sure that we can see where we're going, penetrating all the way through the capsule to the other side, again, advancing the needle, um, all the way backwards, all the way forwards until we feel that click and bringing it out through the joint. We then identify the loop pulling it which tensions the first device and then pulling on the long string um, which brings the second suture taut. Uh, we then use the suture cutting device bringing that into the knee and just trimming that off. This is a very unstable one and uh, needed multiple uh, sutures uh, using the skid um, in the pack just to protect the articular cartilage, bringing the second fiber stitch. This one we decided to do in a slightly different manner, uh, doing a horizontal mattress type suture. You can see using uh, the needle, you can actually see the first device um, loaded and ready to go, going through the meniscal tissue and then through into the capsule and then advancing the first uh, fiber stitch into the posterior capsule and um, bringing the needle back into the joint, careful with the cartilage, and then moving along in a horizontal fashion, uh, again, penetrating the meniscus, then the capsule, and advance the second fiber stitch into the capsule of the joint. Bring it back into the knee, Pulling on the loop just to snug that uh, suture down. You can see it really pulling the meniscus into the capsular rim. Pull the spear length and just closing things down. Again, using the cutter just to trim that off completely.